Hey, this is Chris Perkins with Mashable. Today, I'm checking out the Tesla Model S P90D, but I'm not gonna be driving it the whole time since this car comes with autopilot. It uses an array of sensors and cameras to react to its environment. Let's see how this wizardry works in the world's worst place to drive, Manhattan. So now we're making our way north on the West Side Highway in Manhattan, and we're gonna try autopilot. If you grab that cruise stock mm -hmm. and you pull it twice towards yourself quickly, yep. it will engage autopilot. Give it a tug twice. Oop, hey. That is strange. I'm gonna keep my hands here. Yeah, it's holding the lane. I'm gonna set this to 50 so we're not breaking any laws around here. So right now the lane is closed and it's it's reading it perfectly and it's looking at the cars ahead and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try the auto lane change. Again, it's it, it's sort of like training my brain to let it do its thing and here we go. And, uh, and it did it. And I missed my exit. My foot is not on the gas pedal right now. This car in front of me is not as fast. It slows down a little bit. It sees it way up there, and it's pretty far away. It still is showing me that Honda Accord is up there. I won't say it's relaxing, especially not the first time, but it's really cool. It's really unnerving. This is probably not a good spot to do autopilot. I can stop and go, or can I? This is the best place to do autopilot, oh, really? actually. All right, I'm gonna set the speed of, like low. So it's actually tracking the car in front of you because you set it at less than 18 miles an hour. Okay. So that's actually the cutoff speed. Will it come to a complete stop or will I have to okay, the brake? Absolutely. I'm gonna try that. I didn't do that. It just came to a complete stop. And it's gonna go, yep. Oh my God, this is weird. Oh, see, there's a car coming to my lane. Oh, stopped and corrected. Oop, take over. So how come it did that? Just because the lane markings are just that bad? that bad? Well, I was a little too close for, that was a little too close for my comfort. It, it's so normal, but it is diff just different enough that you're like, oh, this is just not what I'm used to at all. Tesla says many of its autopilot features are still in beta, and having tried it, I think that's a smart move. That being said, it's very impressive tech. It handled most of everything I in New York threw at it, even though my instincts weren't quite ready to trust it. It's not full autonomy yet, but it's an impressive step towards it.